don't got nothing to say. <laughs> she thinks she can roll in and talk to whoever and do whatever she wants. I mean, like, maybe she thinks she can talk to the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey now, I'm Kenya. Yo, I'm Kendra. We're twins. We, we love, love to watch. And this, this is our reaction to Candyman. Candyman. The Classic. original. Well. <laughs> it's the original Candyman. It's the original Candyman, man. Yeah. Yeah. It came out in what? What was that? 1980. No, 1992. It came out in 1992. Damn. So we were like, what? I don't want we were Don't say it. 10 Never. years old. Oh, ah. No, well, we were nine. We were nine years old because we were born. We were nine. <laughs> we're just giving out the age. Just right. giving it out. Just giving it out what? on the internet freely for everyone. It's fine. So the thing about this is, I feel like I have seen this movie before, but it's been so long that I have no memory of it outside of whatever clips or whatever you might see floating around the internet right now. I don't, I I saw, I know for, for a fact that we watched Candyman 2 in Which theaters. I, have remember, I, don't have, I, have, I, I remember the but not experience the of watching that in a movie theater, but I don't have any memory of the actual movie. I mean, I have, I, yeah, I, I guess I can, yeah, I see what you're saying. Because I, I don't really either. But I know I definitely haven't seen um, the original Candyman. I've only seen like clips and stuff from like, People explaining, you know, what the original was about and everything, sort of like in preparation for this remake. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it was kind of like one of those movies growing up that that you definitely grew up knowing about and hearing about. And I'm, I know in a lot of families watching, I just never happened to catch it. I don't know. It's a it's a movie that is a cult. Uh, it's a it's a cult black horror classic, um, but it's also one of those films where I just after watching it the first few times or whatever when I was a kid, I never really went back to. You've seen this movie? Didn't you hear what I said at the top of the show? <laughs> <laughs> I said I feel like I, I know I've seen this movie before. Oh, I just don't. I don't have any memory. I thought you were talking about the, the sequel. So, so, so both of those. So like I know I've seen the first one and I remember watching the second one in the theater but I don't have any memory of the actual movies themselves. Okay. Wow. So we just finished uh, reacting to the reboot of Candyman 2021 version with Yaya Abdul-Mateen and Tiana Paris. Um, and we had some friends over uh, to do that. And we thought it would be fun yeah, to- Yeah, Galena and Daryl. So we thought it would be fun to just also revisit the classic or the original um, and not compare the two, um, but sort of, I don't know, bone up or remind us ourselves, <laughs> remind ourselves of what the inspiration behind this Jordan Peele produced reboot uh, is. And we are doing it in this format because it's easier to edit, faster to get out, so that we can get more horror movies in our horror binge this October out to you guys. Um, kind of horror a, binge! <laughs> this is, we've been looking forward to this. Um, we have a, a, a backlog jam of, of content that we're going to be tossing at you guys. So this is uh, one of those things that we really want to do and we're glad we're going to do it now. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep reacting on the couch. It's just that we're going to, you know, switch it up every now and then and do like a mix. Sometimes we're going to do it on the big blue sofa. Sometimes we're going to do it in front of the big blue screen. I'm All right. excited. Ready? All right, let's get scared. <laughs> I don't think this is going to scare me, but I think I'll be entertained. Let's get scared. I'm ready to get scared. It's not going to be scary. I'm, it's kind of scary. Oh, Daryl was right. Yeah, he was talking about how it was from top down and in the original and, and now, now in the 2021 version it's down, up. bottom up. Yeah. Bottom up, yeah. Kind of a bottom. And I get now like the music in the in the remake like was totally doing an homage to this. I'm definitely 
Behind you, breathing down your neck. Okay, bitch, but I don't want to do that. I want a bone. I'm not no, here for I that. No, I do not want to try that. Can't do that. And you're doing it too. She's she looked really, like a she fool, looked like she really getting up on that shit. No one ever got past four. Girl, that's not sexy. Not There's here. nothing sexy about that. Go downstairs. Now he took his dumb ass down there and sat down too. I'd be like, bitch, uh, we are here. Your shirt is off. She looked in the mirror. You may be called Candyman. Candy really but she said his name the last time. Candyman. <laughs> oh! Oh! Damn! Was that much blood? And what he saw I turned his hair white from shock. Split her open with his hook. And then killed the baby too. Well, oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck, man. Well, when they got too large to keep, people flushed him down the toilet. They live in the sewers now. What? It's albino from living in this the dark. This is kind of indicative of how people will believe any goddamn thing, no matter how ridiculous it is. Well, then it must be true. <laughs> there are no alligators in the sewers. No, it's 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 round the campfire. It's bedtime stories. I mean, I'm liking this these stories. Uh, sweater are glove combination. Diane, Dan, Stacy. <laughs> oh, Stacy got a problem. Take your so, ass on, Stacy. So Billy began. He looked in the mirror and he said, Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. You better turn this shit off. Candyman, huh? Yes, have you heard of him? Mm hmm. You doing a study on him? Yes, I am. What have you heard? Everybody's scared of him once to get dark. He lives over at the green, my friend told me about him. Kareen Green. I live on the south side, so I don't know too much about it. My friend, she know all about it. My cousin lives at the green. Kitty? Yeah, what do you want? The uh. lady down here want to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying to finish this <laughs> trial. Oh, so I can fuck out of here, man. I think her name was Ruthie Jean. Uh, and she heard this banging and smashing like somebody was trying to make a hole in the wall. So Ruthie called 911, and they didn't believe her. They thought the lady was crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So she called 911 again, and they still didn't believe her. But when they finally got there, she was dead. Was she shot? No. She was killed with a hook. Candyman killed her. It's okay. Yeah, Come on, girl. Yeah, it is. I read it in the papers. Mm, Candyman killed mm. her. Mm -mm. I don't know who, who, and what, huh? I remember having to go to the library. Like check out books and like go find the books and sit down in there and read the fucking books and then put the books back. You can still do that today, children. Yes, you can. Go to the Visit your local library. That's not Cabrini Green. That's this building, Lincoln Village. My apartment was built as a housing project. No. Yeah. Now take a look at this. The nineties view. So you soon realize that there was no barrier between here and the goalpost. Unlike over there where you got the highway and the L train to keep the ghetto clean. Exactly. So they made some minor alterations and they sold a lot of this condos. How much did you pay for this place? Down in. <laughs> now wait and see this. That's a badass apartment though. It's the green place. Killer or killers. They don't know which. Smash their way through the back of this cabinet. See, there's no wall there. There's only a medicine chest separating us from the other apartment. Uh -uh. Why wouldn't I they make just... a phone call? Now the apartment's fake. Why wouldn't they put a fucking wall there? Take a look at here. 
Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Don't do it. Candyman. No. You have to do it five times. Come no, on. I'm not doing that. No, no, no. How come Candyman didn't immediately come and rip her stomach open? Oh, he come sometimes. She should have been sliced and diced that night. What happened, Candyman? You were sleeping on the job? <laughs> she got taser, pepper spray. Damn. Damn. You're the one who got us dressed up like cops. I just said dress conservatively. No, we look like cops. What you want to dress conservatively Why for? Are you to I'm not trying to scare you, Helen. I just want you to think, okay? The gangs hold this whole neighborhood hostage. Okay, let's just turn around then. I'm oh, telling you to be oh, careful. Oh, and you mad at me, girl? Oh, You're hush. The entire community starts attributing the daily horrors of their lives to a mythical figure. Hey, whatever. Journalists. Now, if Trevor and Archie were in on this, do you think they'd chicken out? In a second. Ain't no, I'm not talking about no chicken and out, ma'am. I'm telling you to be careful, yeah, there. It's dangerous. I'm talking about go to the hood, dress conservatively. Only. Yeah, uh, matching coat. Oh, yep. We got colors. 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 You want to wait here for me? Uh, yeah, yeah. bitch, I do. I do want to wait this time. I don't like Helen's attitude. You need to don't drag her friend fix in your tone like voice. If you want to go out there, you take your ass out fix there. Fix how you're talking to me. I'll be at home chilling. Get up, people! 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 Get Ma'am, with the natural curls in your hair. I mean, baby, you know Helen is on some And you know she's the one that's going to die. Curls is going to die. Curls is probably going to die because of Helen. Wait a second. Oh, you know, this reminds me of the art project that um, Anthony did for the Candyman 21. Oh, the remake. Yeah. If somebody's packing drugs in there, you're just going to apologize and give me your card? Hmm. Listen to her. Ooh, oh, okay. I've definitely seen this before in something. Oh, girl is stressed. Go, so, bitch! If you don't, she would have got a judo chop to the throat. You don't belong here, lady. You don't belong going through people's apartments and things. My name is Helen Lyle, and this is Bernadette Walsh. We're doing a thesis. I don't know what the hell that is. Don't give a fuck. Get out of here. You know, wife will never come here. Said the call's not the problem. <laughs> Believe me, that's not what Helen did. Girl, get out of there. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> she has this. Yo, of... never. You mm -hmm. heard a scream? I heard right through the walls. I dial nine one one. They ain't never gonna catch him. Mm. Candyman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do they even want to catch him? Shit. <laughs> Just killing black folks so far, seems like. That was one of the controversies of this film is that Candyman, despite what happened to him at the hands of white people, was just in the projects killing black folks. The legend first appeared in 1890. Candyman was the son of a slave. His father had the mass considerable fortune from was the a Joe fucking ancestor shit for the mass producing of shoes after the Civil War. And was much sought after when it came to the documenting of one's wealth and position in society and portrait. Well, of course they fell deeply in love and she became pregnant. They chased Candyman through the town to Cabrini Green where they proceeded to saw off his right hand with a rusty blade. But this was just the beginning of his ordeal. They smashed the hives and stole the honeycomb. 
and smeared it over his prone, naked body. Candyman was stung to death by the bees. <laughs> Fucking dog. What's your name? Jake. Well, listen, Jake, maybe you can help me out. I don't know. Exactly. We talked to our kids. Don't you say shit. You know, you don't have to tell me. Thanks. You could just show me. No, I'm alright. And if you show me where Candyman is, I'll make you a promise. Be our secret. Oh, my fucking ears. I'm trying to live. What are you talking about? I ain't showing you shit. Go look in the mirror. That's where he is. <laughs> is that shit? Did they smear that Girl, shit? I think that's shit. Don't touch that, Helen. <laughs> she won't do it. Excuse me. I'm done here. I'll just get out of your way. <laughs> oh, you just got like a hook, just casual. I'm not a cop. I'm from the University of Illinois. They don't care, Helen. Um, what is that? It was I'll just get out of your way. Hey! Come on! Let me go! <laughs> this is not funny. I do not condone violence against women. I don't condone violence of any kind. Um, damn. However, her friend did warn her that she was not safe walking around this neighborhood like she owned the place. We're very lucky to be alive in this life. Mm -hmm. Next time, stay your ass at home. Jean. I can trust him. See what that poor kid has brought? He ran the overlords. Oh. 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 No, 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 it's much better. Look, see, it's much better. She said the name. Why is the candy man on her ass? I know, right? I'm ready for some killing. You said this was gonna be scary. I thought it was gonna be scary. I don't know. I ain't seen this shit. We haven't eaten already, have we? No, of course not. He said that kind of weird. Oh, he been fucking and eating. He been eating and fucking. <laughs> he been out, girl. <laughs> no sympathy for you. I'm so glad you're okay. I really told you that. Yeah, but you know what bugs me about the whole thing? Two people get brutally murdered and the cops don't know. There was a white woman who was in there who was attacking them all the cops. Bugs me. <laughs> That's how life is. That's how it works out yeah, here in society. Here. That's here. how it is. The pictures, a friend of mine in the photography department managed to save most of them. I'd written them off, the camera was smashed. Uh oh, there he is. Oh, okay. So in the 2021 version, you can only see him through reflection, but this one he just pops up in real life. Those pants. Girl, look at those. Look at the lining of his coat, fam. Um, yeah. Do I know you? <laughs> this is so 90s. No, but you doubted me. I'm sorry, I have to go. No need to leave yet. But I'm late. Mm. You are not content with the stories, so as the lives to come. I, I just, Be my victim. You ask him? Like, I thought you just showed up and sliced people. I am the writing on the wall. The whisper in the classroom. Without these things, I am nothing. So now I must shed innocent blood. Come with me. Oh, the story they told about her attacking people. What? She did. She did attack people. The dog? Oh yeah, she yeah. So that story was true. She did 
kill that fucking Rottweiler. Pick that up. How she stupid. did kill a Rottweiler, and then why would you pick up the knee clip? She picked it up, girl. She did that. Drop it. The slide is over to me. Take off your resume. Drop it. Slide She's traumatized. Let me not be. Frank. Oh, you on first name basis with the detective? Ms. Lau, you're under arrest. Do you understand? This is crazy. I was attacked. Respond to the question. I understand. At approximately 10 p.m., Anne Marie McCoy returned to her apartment. She discovered her dog with his head cut off. She cried for assistance, at which point you attacked her with a meat cleaver. Where's the baby? Hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> Your husband's fucking a, a, his college grad. <laughs> yeah, that bed looks awfully cold. I'm sorry, we can't take your call. Please I'm fucking my student. Tell her you better pick up. Do you know what time it is? 3 a.m. Damn. Going out. Gotta go pick up some work at campus. He's putting on a new vest. Gonna be 20 minutes. Get the fuck out of here. What's he got? Is that a hook? Oh. Okay, no way. Maybe if I say it again, I can talk to him. Let <laughs> Kirk out of here. <laughs> You think you gonna reason with her? I mean, she thinks she could roll in and talk to whoever and do whatever she wants. I mean, like, maybe she thinks she could talk to the spirit. Holy shit! <laughs> I was not expecting that. He is romancing the shit out of this kill. Girl, I don't Ooh! 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 Keep away from me! Your disbelief destroyed the faith of my congregation. Without them, I am nothing. Your death will be a tale to frighten children. To make lovers come closer in their rapture. He is poetic. Yeah, he gonna kill her and blame it on what's the face. Oh my god! Oh no! Of course. Of course. Murder! 
Can't nobody else see him, dummy. Everybody else get killed around her. Why can't she get the knife to the throat? Because she's an arrogant. He told her, you gotta believe in me. Is not home. Or if he is, he is home, he's probably fucking <laughs> he's somebody. He's little man. Oh, he's backing up. Oh, she's the one that's doing it. gonna tell your ass and you were never gonna get out you got nothing to lose I take that phone Clack. sorry You're crazy he done lit candles and everything this is a very active ghost <laughs> he got his hooks hanging up he is made himself at home mm -hmm. put this one up here this is for my daytime this is for my nighttime killings the story. Oh, did you not take pictures of that? I don't know she came to this part. He just he's sleeping. Wait a minute. He's a corporeal ghost who's sleeping on a concrete slab. His hooks are hanging up, girl. He just Taking what an is this hibernation? Was he a vampire? Girl, I, 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 I don't know. He floats and he flies and he can appear out of nowhere. He's invisible to other people besides the people he wants to see him, I guess. <laughs> He's dead already, ma'am. We had a deal. Surrender to me now, and he shall be unharmed. Is, is he gonna kiss her with like a mouthful of bees or some shit? I don't, I, I mean, I just don't understand what the deal is. We have a bargain. Because didn't he, I thought they said they wanted to kill the kid. <laughs> He getting stung? He he definitely had those bees in his mouth, and he was definitely getting stung. I remember remember horror noir, the docu he documentary. Stung? He was saying, yeah, they, he put bees in his mouth, and they were stinging the shit out of his shit. Okay, because I was like, is this? One or the second one, where he was like, "Yeah, you're the lady that I fell in love with back in the day." Like, like Dracula. Nobody heard that baby. She was the only one. Pretty good plan. Kill her and the baby because you know she gonna come for it. Oh, 
How is she going to get away from him? Oh, that hurts. She put a hook in you before. That didn't hurt, but that hurts. All right. Oh, Helen. Helen, my girl. You got something on your... You got something back there, girl. Oh, she going back. Roll, Helen. Roll, Helen. Why would... I uh, know. I'm not going to voluntarily crawl into a fucking fire. So everybody saw that. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. She burn up. So the story is that she don't give a fuck about Helen. She's trying to see her baby. She gonna throw a hook in there. Girl, you gonna throw a hook in the grave. Why? <laughs> Why do that? <laughs> I thought they was gonna throw some rose petals or something. He's a he a heavy hook. Come on, guy. Oh, this motherfucker. <laughs> Girl. I mean, uh, dude. Um, oh! Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Trevor? <laughs> Wee! She fucked Trevor up. <laughs> she fell dead. She got it the fuck out of him. <laughs> Shouldn't have done it. <laughs> well, that was not what I anticipated it would be. See, I told you I was expecting to be entertained, not scared. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be scary, but it wasn't that scary. No, it wasn't scared. In fact, I would say a good 30 to 40 minutes of the movie, nothing much happened. Yeah, yeah. Helen was just running around, being little Miss Helen, and everybody around her was dropping like flies. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't start getting murdery. Yeah. Like real like bloody until the last half an hour, 40 minutes of the film. Yeah, it was yeah, it was kinda weird. It was an I hour and thirty eight minute runtime. So I would say the last forty minutes of the movie that was when it started to ramp up a little bit. Yeah, I, I just kinda feel like the nineties they they just took their time a little bit more and I could tell that they were the the things that he was saying and the way he was saying it. They were trying to like tell a you know a whole story about how like she needed to be the victim and he needed people to believe in him he and because she didn't believe. And... It was because she, she was actually never a victim. He never killed her. He did. I mean, he was gonna kill them both in the like. He was gonna kill her and the baby in the fire. Like it was supposed to be. To, to get the urban legend started. Like, that's what I thought. That's what it seemed like to me. And that's kind of the way they wrapped it up in the, in the, um, the remake or the, you know, you know what I'm saying? I guess that's made a lot, even though it was still a little confusing in the 2021 version, I think that it's that a little clearer. is a little clearer, yeah. um, as far as what it was that the Candyman wanted, because... And also, they finally showed in, like, the mural, like, that one shot where, like, the lady kind of, sort of looked like... Helen. I guess. I thought it would be a bigger part of the storyline instead of just a, like, oh, by the way, Helen, if it's you were the one always. Because I, cause I was just like, why is she special? He never really says until that point 
why he didn't immediately just slice her up like everybody else did. Yeah. Um, I guess it was because she was a skeptic or whatever. Um, but a lot of the people who say Candyman are skeptics. That's the thing. That's the thing about it. Yeah. And also, so he... If you really believe in Candyman, you're not saying it. The, 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 the Cabrini Green woman in her tub, did she say Candyman in the mirror? Is that why he came after her? Like, why was he killing folks in the hood? That boy... Um, who he sliced his poor little BB off in the bathroom. I think that, Did no, he no, 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 that was, I think that boy got sliced because of the guy. I think that was the guy who was pretending to be Ken, who beat okay. up him. So he was the one who did those murders. I don't know that he murdered the lady in the apartment, but I don't, I do think the little boy was just some kind of ruse for him to... All right, I mean, there's a lot up in the air with this. It just, I guess it's supposed to be not altogether clear, you know. You're logic, man. I mean, I like for things to make sense. I just think that it, the way that they wrapped up the 20, the way that they incorporated this into the 2021 version was um, interesting and I liked it. And I, 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 towards the end of the movie, I was starting to fill in some blanks, like I started to remember some stuff. I guess I have seen that part, or maybe it was because we watched yeah, the first movie. Yeah, I've seen this I don't movie know. before, but it, it's, been a, it's been long enough that, that um, it was a little, it was fresh. Theme of horror films, which is talked about in a lot of documentaries about horror, the genre in general, is that you misogyny. Know, women often are the ones the who victims. go through all the violence, and yeah. it's all usually handed to them by men. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's, there's a bit of that here too. Like uh, most of the victims outside of the, uh, little boy and the professor and were yeah. women. But anyway, um, you know, it was, it was cute. It was what it was. I definitely, I think I appreciate the 2021 version a more than more. this one. Yeah, this one's a little dated. Um, but it is a black a classic, horror classic, classic and man. it is something that people will continue to watch. And I'm actually, I'm glad Jordan Peele and, you know, everybody over there in Monkey Paul decided to <laughs> so, sort of reinvigorate this franchise. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, that was our reaction to the original, the classic 90s Candyman. If you guys like what you see, please like the video. It really helps our channel out. Hashtag horrorbinge. Hashtag horror binge. Um, and uh, leave us a comment down below. Have you seen Candyman? Did you like it? The original version, I mean, or the 2021 version? How do they compare to you? Like, are you feeling the 90s version? Or are you feeling the updated, fresh, yeah, yeah, Abdul Mateen, Tiana Paris version? And we will see you guys next time.